Hello everyone, this is Press Any Button, and we are back in Unity. I've got the project window open here, because we're going to jump straight into another 2D project. This is something that we kind of like to do here, but it's something that allows us to gain skills that will help us in future projects. So I've gone to the new tab over here and I've hit 2D, that's something you can do. Now what we'll be actually making is a run and gun shooter, or a shoot em up, or whatever you call it. Something akin to Gunstar Heroes, just a side scroller, really basic, you know, talking about platforming, talking about shooting, talking about level design, talking about, you know, menus, character creation, all of these things we're going to try and to incorporate into this tutorial series. So hopefully you've heard some things that would be interesting for you to learn as we're going through this. This is just going to give us the bare skeleton. We're not going to, you know, come out of this with a fully realized project that's going to go into full production, but what we are going to do is create a foundation for our own learning uh, that we can continue in better projects and just keep doing better and better and better till we, you know, are experts. So join me in the Unity editor by going to create project, name your project, whatever you want. I've already got my project sort of set up and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we are in Unity. You can see that I've set up my project. I've called it Run and Gun Project. And I've done a couple of things, just gone ahead a little bit, but we're gonna talk about some basics, things we've already done on the channel and just something to get us warmed up and into the mood to create some video games. So right here, I have my scene. I've got a player character in there and I've got a platform. What I've been able to do is I've made it so that this character collides with this platform. This character is affected by gravity. And that's what we're just gonna set up today because that will help us in the future when we start thinking about the movement of our character and how they interact with the environment around them. Because if they don't interact with anything around them, then we're not really playing anything. So to make sure that we're on the same page, we'll just create a new scene. So you'll probably have a blank project at this point, uh, but let me outline a couple of things that you're going to want. So if you go to the window tab and you hit animation, you'll receive an animation window and I think it'll pop up here or somewhere. Now what's really good in Unity, you have these tabs and you can drag them just about anywhere you want. So I could drag this up here, but I prefer to have mine down here, just so I can see what's happening. We're going to be working with some sprite animation in this tutorial series. So if you have any way of making pictures or anything, if you have Photoshop or you can just get some PNGs off the internet, because we're not too concerned on if it looks, you know, exactly just amazing. We're just concerned on getting that movement in there through the animations, through the different phases of animation and frames and things like that. And so um, everything else is just as it is. If you have services up there like I do, you can just go to the inspector tab and we'll be hanging out in there for most of our time. So I'm gonna go to file and then I'm going to go to new scene and here I have a new scene the only thing I have in this scene is a main camera I'm going to rename my scene and so I have done that by just right clicking and I'll save it in this window I'll save it as um, scene one together there we go and then I'll just save that Great, so I've got scene one together in my assets folder. And so when we want to open different scenes, we just double click, double left click on the different scenes and we can go to different scenes. So I've got a couple of images. So I've imported some images into Unity. This is really easy. What you can do is you can just have your image, drag it into a file that is labeled assets under your project. So when Unity creates a project, it's going to create all the files and things for you. Not absolutely everything. There are some files and folders that we're going to create ourselves. But the assets folder will be there. And you just drag your PNG, whatever you want to represent your character, into that assets folder. And it will appear in the inspector over here in your project view uh, in Unity. So I have my character here 
it's just a collection of frames. So that's what this image looks like right now. It's a collection of different frames that I want for my idle animation. So we'll go back into Unity. So as you can see here, I have these frames of animation under this parent. And how I've done that is I've gone to the actual sprite sheet in which I've created. A sprite sheet is just really a sheet that, that has your different frames for your sprite. And now in the inspector, this is set by default as single. We want to go to multiple. So if I just do single and we want to go to multiple and then we want to go to the sprite editor and it's going to ask us to apply so we apply it. Now we've been here before and previous tutorials have shown this but this is the sprite editor. Now what you want to do is you want to have a separate box for each of your frames of animation. So we go to slice here and we'll use automatic. Grids in general are a bit better than doing it automatically. As you'll see, you'll have extra boxes, you'll have some things that don't quite line up properly. But you can just drag these around using these little tabs and just slice your frames like that. And then once you're done with that, you can hit apply. I'm not going to because I already have all of mine sorted uh, under my character here. But what I am going to do is I'm just going to drag this single frame of my character into the scene. And so I've just taken it from the assets folder in the project view and I've just taken it into the scene. And so it's not really much. It's just a sprite. It's a PNG. It has really no properties, but we're going to give it some properties. So we'll go to add component first and then physics 2D and we're going to add a rigid body. Now the reason why we've added a rigid body is so that we can have some physics applied to our object. So I'm just going to leave him up there because he will fall once I start the game. You know, this object will fall but I'm not going to waste our time and just have it fall through the world. Um, we're going to make it so that they land on something. So we've got to give him something to land on. So I'm going to drag this platform into the scene view. And once I have that platform there, I'm going to go to add component physics 2D and I'm going to go for a box collider. Now what a collider does, it, it's kind of, it says it on the package. So a collider allows collisions to happen. So it allows for contact between two objects. So I'm going to make the 6.25 and what I can also do just to adjust it in general is I can hold left click down and I can scroll left and right just like I'm doing there. So if you want to just adjust it freehand you can do that and it helps a little bit just so you know the direction you're going in for certain things. And so we, we've got that there. I don't really feel like rounding up those numbers. I think they're pretty good. Now, we're still not done because even if we have this collider here for our platform, our character will still fall through. So what do we need on our character? Well, we need something for this collider to respond to. So on our character, we're going to go to physics, 2D again, and we're going to go for a nice circle collider just because he's a bit round and I'll leave the circle collider like that we're gonna make some changes as we go on so here we have our character and they have two things attached to them they have a rigid body 2d and they have a circle collider 2d and now the rigid body has allowed gravity to work on our character and the circle collider should once this loads allow our character to collide with the platform. So the box collider is now colliding with the circle collider. That's all we've got time for this episode or this part. But thank you for sticking around the channel. Um, thank you for all the support and just the, the dialogue that's been going even in my absence. We're gonna be just hitting it hard with projects this year. So I really look forward to just learning in Unity alongside all of you. We're going to use a couple of different programs and by a couple of different programs, 
all that's in my head right now is Blender. But we're just going to explore outside of Unity to see how we can bring things, different skills into our games design and development. We're going to attack this from both sides, the side of creation and the side of really getting into the background, the programming and doing other things like that. But if you like this episode, please leave a like. It helps me out. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will start responding now. And there are a couple of other resources where you can turn to if there's a couple of definitions in this episode that seemed a bit confusing. But as always, I look forward to the next part and I look forward to the opportunity to learn together. So hold tight. The next episode will be out pretty soon.